That was beautiful. I'm Felix Rome, a wildlife photographer, and I'm out on safari once again. It's a beautiful morning, and I wonder what we'll see today. Three hyenas and they're walking along the road right towards me. Okay, I'm gonna change and put the zoom lens on for this camera. That was great. Three hyenas were walking along the road right towards us. I was able to get some video clips and some pictures, but we weren't really aware they were coming because I was watching some topies as there were hot air balloons rising above them. But I think we're gonna try and follow them because I love hyenas and I feel like spending the morning with them. We tried following the hyenas, but they quickly dipped into the long grass, so we weren't able to follow them. But just as the sun rose, there was a beautiful jackal that was walking along the road and then into the nice grass. We are now carrying on, not really sure what we're looking for. I mean, I would like to find some more hyenas. There were some way off in the distance. The sun rose behind them and the grass was lit up golden and it was beautiful, but you couldn't really get any pictures because she was about 200 meters away. But we're driving along now to see if she's come any closer to the road. As we were driving along, we saw two ostriches. We've got a male and female, and the male is in breeding plumage. So his neck and legs are very pink. They notoriously don't really like vehicles, but we're gonna see, because they are slowly coming towards us. So we might just sit it out and see if they come any closer. very unusual animal. I can't, I know that they're a bird, but when you're watching them, you don't feel like you're watching a bird, if that makes sense. Very big, very ancient looking. The plan has slightly changed. The ostrich has moved away which was slightly upsetting but still nice to sit and watch there are four hyenas you know you can't see them in this shot but they're kind of this way and they're looking like they are heading towards us along the road so we've positioned ourselves slightly side on so then i can kind of lean out and hopefully get low down as they come towards us now the sun is just about to break through these clouds and so it should be quite nice. It's still fairly early in the morning. Um, don't know what time it is, don't wear a watch. Well, I 
tried that shot where we got in front of them, hoping she would walk towards us. She's actually covered in blood, her mouth, so she's obviously been successful. I, don't, I didn't get any pictures, I literally didn't take one. Um, she's now kind of heading off again into the grass. It's been a difficult morning actually, and I've seen some good stuff, but I haven't got any pictures. You know, sometimes it doesn't, you don't need to take pictures in order to have a good safari, or at least I think so. You know, I've been doing this for so long now that I'm not going to get a great picture every time I go out. It's just not, you know, I'm not as, how do I phrase it? I'm not wowed as often now. The first month, whenever I saw hyenas or elephants and things like that and lions, I would take hundreds of pictures and think they were all great. But now that I've done that, I take less pictures. The more you do something, the less pictures you take because you know what works and what doesn't. We had good light this morning and opportunities where a scene could have developed into a good photo, but sadly it didn't, which is fine. You know, still had a great time. I'm gonna try and, I'm just gonna stop with the hyenas actually, try and use this light for something else. I know I can see one, two, three off over there and a baby as well, hyenas. So, this is torture, but still fine. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll leave them, cut the losses with those guys. I may have got a picture right at the beginning, like early doors, you know, before the sun has actually risen. We'll see, I might might have a headshot or, or something else, but yeah, like I say, we'll move on from these guys. You gotta learn when to, when to quit. <laughs> okay, anyway, right, let's go. Got I can see some elephants. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know if you can see them. Seem to be two females and each one has a calf. They're coming a lot closer. It's a very beautiful scene and the backlight is somewhat helping. It's normally what I would think is too harsh, but if I slightly overexpose so then they're not silhouetted, the grass turns this beautiful soft yellowy gold, but not your typical gold. The grass is starting to die and dry out in the Mara, so it's got that very soft, subtle pastel colour to it. It's lovely, I'm just gonna sit here and, you know, they're walking towards us, so hopefully I can get a nice shot of a mother and a calf. So she's coming a lot closer. The trick is to try and get a strong outline. Now she's turned side on. Hopefully I can get a strong outline of the calf as well. Seventy to two hundred on. Let's try and get a wider picture.
That was beautiful. Both mothers and the calves came kind of really close. It walks just in front of our Jeep. Oh, that was magic, absolutely magic. I hope I got some good shots. I know the, one of the calves kind of came up and he started trumpeting, or not tr quite trumpeting, but throwing his trunk around, and oh, that was amazing. <laughs> but what we'll do is we'll move off uh, and then I'll carry on this conversation. <laughs> what a morning. That was fantastic with the hyenas and the elephants towards the end. That was great. Really fantastic, lovely light. And really, you know, it may look like I've driven quite far, but oh, we've barely gone anywhere. <laughs> barely, you know, the camp is actually just behind me. So in this, this tree line, so I haven't gone far and I've had all of this wonderful sightings. Elephant pictures, oh, I think I've got a good one, definitely of the calf. He, uh, he had his head out the grass and was kind of looking at me, trying to check out what, what am I? Uh, which was great, because normally when I see elephant calves, they're hidden in really long grass, so you don't get a chance to properly see them. So that was fantastic. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the video. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. But until then, have a good one.